What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So back with another SketchUp asset management tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free program that you can use in order to manage your model and material libraries before bringing them into SketchUp. So I've been using this for a little while now and I'm finding it's really saving me a ton of time. So I wanted to show you guys how to use this particular tool inside of SketchUp. So today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is my comprehensive course for SketchUp where I teach you how to use the program from start to finish. So it's step by step, I answer questions, and it's a great place to go if you want to take your SketchUp modeling to the next level. So if you want to check that out, really get serious about learning to use SketchUp this year, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is an external tool that I've been using for a bit now in order to manage all of my different model files. And so the cool thing about this tool is it's really good for managing both your materials as well as different objects um, so that you can access them quickly. So the program is called Connector and you can find it at the link in the notes down below. Um, it's from Design Connected and it's a free visual asset manager. It's basically what it is. It's actually integrated right now with some other tools. So I actually found it from doing some stuff on my Blender channel, but I'm finding it's working really great for not only managing my SketchUp models, but also managing all of my different materials um, so that they're easy to bring in. So it gives me a visual way to do that. And I'll talk you through exactly how that works in just a minute. Um, notice how um, if we scroll down a little bit, they're talking about adding SketchUp integration, I think later this year. Um, so right here, they're talking about adding that integration. So there is, for example, a Blender add-on where you can actually use it to automatically bring things in. So it kind of integrates where with SketchUp, it's more something you can use to manage everything and drag things over, but it's still extremely helpful. So I will link to this in the notes down below. You can download it and give it a look, but let me show you kind of how I'm using it. And so when you open it up, it's going to look something like this. Right, So it's gonna have a window off to the left-hand side where you can manage different folders. So you can tell it to look in different folders for different things. On the right, there's gonna be a preview. There's actually a window they added for PBR material preview that we can talk about in a minute as well. And so why would you want something like this? So trying to manage all your different model files can be really kind of problematic because what happens is you start bringing things in and you get a ton of different folders and it just gets really hard. Right, so because you have to remember what's in there and where everything is kept and all of that. Well, what this does is this allows you to dictate a folder. So in this case, for example, I can dictate my assets folder um, and I have a folder for objects and this will actually show you everything that's inside of that folder. And so there's a button right here that lets you show or hide files and subfolders. So right now, for example, if I'm just in my objects folder, you can see how I'm seeing a bunch of zip files basically in one blend file. But if you click this little button right here, what that's gonna do is that's gonna show you all the different files in all the different subfolders that are in there. And so one of the really great things about this program is it allows you to filter by type. So right now, for example, you can see how I just have a ton of stuff in here, right? Cause I've got stuff for Blender, I've got stuff for SketchUp, I've got stuff for rendering pro, it's just a ton of stuff. Well, what you can do is you can go up to the top here and there's these different filters that you can use to filter different kinds of files. So for example, this folder has OBJs, it has dot blends, it has all that different stuff. But let's say we were to look in this folder for just SketchUp files. We could click this little drop down right here and we could uncheck the boxes for every file type except SketchUp. So you can see how now when I do that, and I filter this down, I'm only showing my SketchUp files and then the other kinds of files that are in here. So um, for example, like JPEGs. And we can turn those off just by clicking on these buttons right here. So you can filter everything out by clicking on it so you can just find SketchUp files. So you can use this to really quickly find things. You can also filter the entire folder by file name or by type. So let's say I was looking for something with the word chair in it. I could just type in chair hit the enter key. What that's gonna do is that's gonna filter out everything except things that have the word chair in the name. 
So this is a really easy way to go find different things inside of your asset folders inside of really wherever you want. And it gives you a great preview. You can also click on this and it'll give you a preview of what the file is gonna look like over here on the left-hand side as well. There's a bunch of other great functions too. So for example, one of the things I struggle with is a lot of the time you have to like copy, paste file locations or things like that. Well, if I was to either left click on this, you can see how it gives me information for the location of that file, or I could just right click on it and I could click on open with, open in Explorer or copy full file path. So if I was to copy the file path and then go into Windows Explorer and do a control V, and I probably wanna go back up one, but I can find the folder that this is contained in really easily. So you could also, if you do right click on this and click open, it'll open it inside of SketchUp. So you can see how it opened this up for the actual chair that was in here. It'll do the same thing with that sofa if you wanna do that. So you can use this to open files individually. However, one of the things that you might wanna do is use this to bring things into SketchUp. And so let's go ahead and split our windows so that I have connector on one window and SketchUp on the other. So one of the cool things about this is um, to bring these into SketchUp, you don't need to do like a file insert and then copy paste or anything like that. All you have to do is just click and drag and you can drop these objects inside of SketchUp. So you can see how fast this is to bring things in. So especially if you have two monitors, you could just run this on one window and then run SketchUp on the other and see how it's really easy to bring in those files into your SketchUp model. So I'm finding that I'm using this a lot just because it's so flexible with how I can access my different files. And let's say for example, instead of using my objects, I wanted to look at my materials. Right, so I've got a folder in here for my materials. And notice how nothing is showing up right here because I have filtered out all of my image files. So in this case, I wanna filter this out so only image files show up in here, like this. So notice how this will basically pull up any image file that's in that folder, as long as I have this show files and subfolders selected. So alternatively, if I wanted to, I've got all these different folders over here that I can click on as well. So if I have all my brick and stone in here, for example, I can click on that and I can see all of the different brick and stone files in here as long as I have the show files and subfolders checked. If I don't, nothing shows up in here. So the other cool thing about this, so first of all, with a lot of rendering programs, um, you're gonna have to give them like the file location of everything. So I find this is a really great way to have everything here. And then I can just copy that path or find the path really quickly and then paste that into a rendering program. You can also tag everything by the way. So if you wanted to organize these by tagging like your roughness maps or your normal maps or whatever, you could do that um, just by tagging them with normal or you could also tag them with something like rock or stone. So you could use this to organize these even more. So they've also added a PBR material preview. So um, if I go to window and turn on PBR material preview, what you can do is you can take these maps and you can drag them into different slots in order to see what those are gonna do to your material. So for example, notice how I can use this in order to preview what this brick material is gonna look like applied to a face. So I can drag the ambient occlusion over here as well. So you can use this to preview materials inside of a PBR viewer without having to go in a rendering software. So that's another great tool. And then for SketchUp, what I usually do is really all you need for SketchUp is just to get the image in in order to use it as a texture, right? So a lot of the time what I do And I'm gonna turn this PBR material preview back off. But a lot of the time what I'll do inside of SketchUp, and there may be an easier way, you guys can definitely tell me if there is. I just drag this over like this. And then notice how you can't sample it yet, right? So the image that's applied to this face doesn't show up in your model or anything like that yet. But as soon as you right click on this and you explode it, this shows up as a material inside of your in model, you can also sample it. So let's say for example, that I had just a wall in here that I wanted to apply a new material to. So like a brick material, right? So let's say, or you know what, we'll just go with, 
we'll just go with this rock material. So let's say I wanted to apply this rock material to this wall. Well, my workflow would be I would just drag it over, explode it, sample it. And one thing that's kind of annoying is notice that came in as projected. So I would have to go back to the texture, uncheck projected, and then apply it. So not a huge deal, um, but that is an annoying extra step right now. I'm hoping that they're gonna add actual integration for connector into SketchUp eventually. But for right now, this is still a lot faster than me clicking the plus button, going and finding something, dragging it in here, double clicking, then applying it. For me, this is just faster and more intuitive. So I will link to connector in the notes down below. This is a great tool that I'm finding myself using more and more, but I'd love to hear what you think about it. So go give it a down Download, give it a try and then leave a comment down below let me know what you think if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week if you like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video thanks guys